And here we are. I think it's working. Yes. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the first of two online Codenames games, which is happening as part of Virtually Expo, which is the virtual convention put on by the people who run UK Games Expo, which sadly we can't have this year because of the global pandemic situation. So I'm doing yeah two games of Codenames online. The first one is now starting at four o'clock UK time. The next one I'll be starting at five o'clock and you can play along at home. Uh, unlike my normal videos, I'm not going to have the chat on screen. So you can all send whatever insults you want at me, call me names, and I won't see them during the game. I'll see them afterwards, uh, but not during the game. Um, so yeah, this is, this is you can basically play along at home. Uh, yeah, right. Now, can't play Codename solo, so let me just pop over to the Discord and say hello to everybody else. Hello, everybody else on Discord. Hello. I was going to say, this is where either everybody all says hello at once and floods the, the microphone, time. or everybody stays quiet because they don't want... <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, let's first introduce uh, my spy master today, which is Melvin Tantrum House. <laughs> yes, this, this is Melissa. <laughs> and Kevin. For Melvin. So we what would it be the other names way together. Around? It would be... What would it be the other way around? It would be Kevinissa? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't work as well. Yeah, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin is, is much better. Uh, and we've also got Tony from CG joining me as well. If Tony's here. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Tony's, Tony's my, my fellow operative. Uh, over on the red team. Boo. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be done. Chris, you are the red spy master this afternoon. I am Chris Whiphand, game all night slash wheel tapping slash yeah. renegade slash I everything everything <laughs> yeah you're 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 everywhere at the moment aren't you <laughs> feels like it <laughs> how did you get picked as being the spy master uh i just took it i'm that i'm that kid who when somebody asks somebody like for volunteers i just put my hand up and get it okay. over with okay right okay <laughs> no, that's, that's on, a, on an unrelated note does anybody want to lend me a thousand dollars He's, go he's going quiet. <laughs> <laughs> he's done his bit for today. Oh, right. Okay. He he's done his one bit of volunteering. Okay. Right. So, uh, we're working with Chris, trying to find the red agents, I think we have Jeremy. Thank Hello. you for joining me. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, the other other pegs are celebrating their daughter's birthday. Right, right. All day, uh, all day celebration today. Right. That's fun. Now you're the you're the green peg in blue peg pink peg, aren't you? I am the green peg, so uh, <laughs> I I am breaking all the rules. Yes, in the wrong color altogether. Yeah, completely. Uh, and also, if Ray is still here, yes, Ray, I'm here. Ray is here. Excellent. Now we, me and Ray have just played a game of Under Falling Skies just an hour ago. So yeah, uh, Ray failed to save the planet. Apologies to everybody in New York City. You are now all dead. Um, Ray's fault. Not blaming anybody if Ray's fault. Right, okay. So let, let, let's crack on. Yeah, so we're not going to be explaining the rules of code names. We're going to assume people watching know how to play. Um, but yeah, you can play along at home. As I say, I'm not going to see the chat. So off we go then. Chris, you're up first. I am up first. So um, I, had, I had a moment here. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm going to type in my clue. I'm going to click my number. And uh, my clue is going to be bandage three. Okay. Bandage three. Now I didn't ask guy. Ray. Do, do you know how to play code names, Ray? Yes, I played it at Virtual Gaming Con on this right. system. Excellent. Go. We're all good then. So yeah, as you can okay. see, by clicking on the top left of the name, Ray is saying he okay. thinks it's mummy, but well, you've that, not that's... actually selected that yet. Yeah. Mummy seems like an obvious one. Uh, I think Scratch is a good candidate. Uh, what else have we got? What else would Chris Whitpin put a bandage on? <laughs> I can't help but notice that Earth and Worm are right next to each other. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. I guess you could not a bandage. That seems unlikely. Yeah, Chris likes trains as well, so it's got, it's got to be train. No matter what the clue word is, it's got to be train. It's got to be train. Well, I don't know. I don't know, uh, Ray. What else do you think? I 
I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable with those two, but I'm I'm having a hard time with a third bandage. Yeah, I'm very comfortable about mummy and scratch. Not is the would be my third choice. Well, we can. I mean, we can go bold. Yeah. The rules of the game say that you have to have at least one guess, but after you've had your first right. one, you don't you don't have to carry on after that if you're too scared. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. Okay, so that's how you select the word, and it, that one was correct. So you can okay. carry on or pass. Well, I actually say correct or not, so I don't get to do that nope. either. No, nope. I don't get to do that flinch where I'm like, they say the word and I accidentally reach for the tile. Yeah. None of that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, let's 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 commit to mummy here. Okay, we're right there. There you go. I think Paul and Tony need to do some more heckling on that red team. I think we do. Yeah, we have all the time in the world to think through this. Um, Ray, I, I, let's let's hold it there. I feel I feel like um, I feel playing it safe is the is the right call right now. Let's see what those those blue folks do. All right, that's fine. Okay. So I'll click the end guessing. There we go. Right. Okay. And again, if you're playing along at this on the, at home, feel free to put in the chat what you think the other one was, as long as we all promise not to look at the YouTube chat during the game. We'll have a look afterwards. Right. Let's see what right. our spy masters have got for us. Are you guys ready? Yep, we're ready. All right. Our clue is... Dive 2. Okay. Okay, can you guys hear me now? We can hear you now. We heard a lot of scratching and, and shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't That's know right. what was going on here. Right, dive two. Hmm. Dive. So, dive I associate with diving into the sea off a ship which has an anchor. Uh, okay. Uh, pearl. There's also like... Pearl. Saloon. I didn't see Pearl. Like a dive bar. Yeah, I, I didn't know if that terminology was similar over there. A dive in the UK is kind of a grotty place with like sticky floors and not very nice. Yeah. Whereas a saloon is kind of. I mean, I don't know. You can have nice saloons, can't you? I don't know. Maybe not. Possibly. I. I think. Dive. Um, it's got to be Pearl. I just noticed Pearl. So diving for Pearl. Yeah. It's got to be that one. As for another yeah, one. Yeah, I agree with that one. I think should we, should we go with Pearl first? Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Contract, potato, Russia, Russia. Diving, Russia. Uh, Olympics, no. Musketeer, March. <laughs> Guy, it, you really do miss something not seeing the other spy master's face. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, really, I need to see the. the, the uh, the struggle not to give any facial clues. Yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> We're totally doing things over here. Can't even say it. Okay. So, Steph. Death? Yeah, so diving. Uh, diving as in Olympic diving. You have to climb up the all the steps before you jump. Uh -huh. up. Maybe. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think saloon is still a possibility. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of anything else. So, it's, uh -oh. do we do we want to take a risk and go saloon? I'm happy to because I'm in one. Of, I'm the, I'm in one of those moods today. So I'll push the button. Go on then. You can blame me then. I'm, I'm going to stand back. Okay. It's literally on it. <laughs> oh. 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 Could have been okay. worse. Could have been Could worse. Have been worse. Yeah. Right. Okay. Back to the red team. So I actually had to go and um, I had to go double check the rules to see if my clue's valid. So okay, um, here we go with um, three for three. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> well, we could heckle a lot on this one. We can. Well, we can. I know we could, but we're not allowed to. <laughs> Okay, well... Oh, uh, oh, you want us to heckle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, how do you guys play code names? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Earth is the third planet from the sun. 
So I think that's that's a good shot. March, that's a good call. Um, three Musketeers. They're bonsai plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Karate Kid. And there are three karate kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I like your I like your leap there, Tony. I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying you can eat other, three like potatoes. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I, I am I I am comfortable with Earth March and Musketeer. I think those oh, are that's, solid. Let's do that. But let's uh, let's uh, let's see if Chris is flinching. So. <laughs> We'll hear him. We'll hear his teeth grinding. Let's go, Earth. Oh! Oh! Boom! So, yes, he was definitely flinching. Okay. I, I can't wait to have a conversation at the end of this game yeah. because when you said, oh, yeah, Earth, third planet from the sun, I was like, oh, that's amazingly clever. I, I'd have never thought of that. Um, <laughs> and apparently, I didn't. <laughs> so, so that did <laughs> right. Come on, blue right, team. We, we have a question about valid clues. Are we allowed in this game to use a proper noun that is multi-word? Yes. yes. I, I, always, I didn't say this at the start, but I always allow uh, proper noun multi-word names. <laughs> multi-word names? Yeah. So like Paul Grogan 4. Or See, you know, got William very, Shakespeare yeah. 5. Or Paul like or Grogan. Yeah, yeah. It says Paul to the person giving the clues on his team. Just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, that rule only applies to the blue team. <laughs> I'm flinching for entirely different reasons now. <laughs> All right. Our clue is Orient Express 2. Okay. I see one obvious one. So... Okay. Train. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I, uh, Orient Express. Uh, is there a murder? Nope, there's no murder. Um, um, is there anything to do with Russia? That's what Maybe? I'm thinking. I mean, I have watched the film in the last few months. I remember seeing it. And I, can't, I don't think it's Russia. I'm trying to think where it goes from and to. Smoke comes out of a train. Yeah. But that's more steam, isn't it? Oh, no, it could be coal, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Contract, no. Musketeer, no. Phoenix, no. Whip, bonsai, anchor, bond. March, potato, Russia. I mean, yeah, I don't know the story of the Orient Express. Oh, well, no, Murder on the Orient Express is just a story, isn't it? The Orient Express is a thing, so... Oh, should we go train first? Yeah, yeah, definitely train. Okay, now, we could go back to um, Pearl, uh, Dive from last time as well. We could do Dive as well. Yeah. Yes. There's, it's oh. not, the Orient Express is in like a James Bond movie. Uh, I don't obviously. think it is. Don't think okay. it is. Hose, as in. I was so tempted to try and convince the blue team that it was a James Bond movie. It, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hose, as in, if you're, if you're a diver, you've got scuba gear with, um, you know, oxygen uh, okay. tanks and hose. Go possibly. On but I'm trying to think of something else for Orient Express. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's known for its uh, potato dishes in the dining car. <laughs> I've heard that, that came up in our fiasco on that. Yeah, wide, a wide variety of potato dishes. I mean, it, it runs almost through Russia, so I mean, makes sense. What do you think, Tony? Hose, smoke, or something else? <laughs> Man, I I'm I'm struggling. I am struggling. I mean, we could pass, but I kind of don't want to pass. But we could go back and look at either the anchor or step from what was it? 
dive. I think it, I think step. looking at hose, I think that's probably the dive is. I'm thinking more hose. You're thinking more hose for dive. I'm uh, thinking it, but I might be completely okay. on the wrong track. So I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, we'll go. We'll go hose. Oh, yeah. okay. not terrible. Not terrible. Wow. How, how many bystanders are there in the game? There's only like four. We found, we found three. I do know you're not supposed to find the gray ones. Oh, yes, yes. We're playing a variant rule, Ray. It's a mini game. <laughs> find all of the bystanders and save them. Great. Achievements. Do we find right? all the same bystander, too? Because this is kind of funny. Yeah. Yes, they are. It's, it's, it's hidden uh, marketing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Um, oh yes, right. I just noticed she has a copy of code names. Uh, mm -hmm. It's subliminal. <laughs> Not very, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It would be funny if like each one held a different version. Just say yeah. Um, so that's some free. That's some free marketing advice right there. CG. Okay. There the go. second one costs yeah. Um. All right, you say so, free. I've just had an email from a Chris Whitpan with an invoice for marketing advice. <laughs> wow, that was that was quick. Do you buy fresh books? Um, all right, so <laughs> uh, let's see. We're gonna go with uh, hoist five. Five? What? What? <laughs> I can't talk more than but reasons. Okay, so there's no petard on the list okay uh, so i'm gonna say real quick I, i'm pretty sure uh just i'm gonna i'm bookmarking these the musketeer in march i feel uh from the last clue um are worth remembering yeah mm. um it, yeah anchor on anchor uh hoist I mean, hmm. Oh man, Chris. Yeah, like not maybe like I'm thinking like sailing sorts of things. I don't know if you, you don't hoist a sail, do you? I don't know. No. We I hoist the worm. Yeah. Um, From the hoist worm. I mean, I guess you could argue you could hoist any of these things, right? Yeah. Hang on a minute. Um. It. Yeah. Just bear with us a minute. There's a dice on the floor. I'm just going to hoist it up. Yeah. Uh, see, there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's a big die. Um, <laughs> no way do I come up with five for Hoy. <laughs> oh, I'd love to look at the chat right now. I, I think I think I think uh, uh, Chris is is going to his dictionary right now and realizing he meant a different word than hoist. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing by rules. That's what Chris is doing. <laughs> You can hoist potatoes. You can hoist potatoes. I'm just, we're just keep on coming back to potato, everybody. Yeah. Been... yeah. It's probably the assassin. Well, let's see. Do, do we want to say anchor? Just to say we, we feel like that, that we're comfortable with getting that one right. Anchor is definite. And, and Chris, if this, I'm going to click this, but if this is not a hoist. Chris, we are going to have words after the live stream is done. But I'm going to click it. Family show. Yeah! What? Incredible. I would have bet money that hoist. Uh, oh, my week. God. Right. Chris is secretly on our team. Thank yeah. You. Oh, I, think it's very, I think it's very secret. I think it's pretty obviously on your team. <laughs> I'm just trying to make the game of it, I guess. Wow. Well then. Do you well, think that was dive? Um I don't know now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next clue is crack two. Okay. You crack a whip. You, know, yep. down. you you clicked it before I did. Um, um and Maybe that one? Maybe Thunder? Thunder? Crack? Mm -hmm. You don't really crack a nail, do you? You kind of split a nail? Yeah. Yeah. I, so, okay. 
So we go whip first. Yeah, definitely whip. Mm -hmm. What else could it be for? Russian crack bond now. Uh -huh. I'm good with under. Yeah, I'm good with under too. I'll click. Oh, you got it. Got it. Okay. Right. So we get to use our plus one. Plus one. Okay, so Orient Express. Because then, I'm looking at the situation here. They still have seven left to find. Part of me is thinking, <laughs> exactly. they've got seven left to find. We've only got and three. And we're running out of innocent bystanders. Yeah, we, we yeah. could pass. However, they've got hoist five in the bank. If, if, if they now work out what that five is, all of a sudden we're behind again. So I have a theory about that that I don't want to say anything Okay, about. okay. So, what have we got left over? We think that dive might have been anchor. We've got... Or step, but that's a stretch, I think. We have Orient Express. So the only other... And the Orient Express was only two. If mm -hmm. I knew more about the Orient Express, but I'm not allowed to look at Google... Um, I could shout very loudly for Vicky to come upstairs and tell me where the Orient Express runs from and to. I, I, I'm good with passing, honestly. Okay, we'll, we'll go for it. We'll pass. There we go. Playing it safe. Playing it safe. Chris has been leading us into a false sense of security. He gave us that hoist yeah. just, to, just to throw us off. He's been leading his own team into a false sense of security. <laughs> wait to have the conversation at the end of this game. Um, right. <laughs> I just, I, I think people play differently than I do. Well, <laughs> proving. I'm not saying that you don't hoist anchors, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that the Earth is not the third rock from the sun. I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay? And I'm not saying, saying that there, there weren't three threes, threes. So they're, you know, right. I'm not saying any of that. All right. Okay. You're, so... just, you're just saying that <laughs> of all of the things you can hoist on the available words, anchor was way at the bottom of the list. <laughs> way, way, way. <laughs> you see what we're doing there? We can weigh an anchor too. <laughs> okay, Chris, you got this. Yeah. Um, well, I do, but I'm only half the <laughs> equation, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, so, so we're going to go here, um, and, and I'm kind of trusting you guys. Crawl five. Crawl five. He's at it again. It's five. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Let's, yeah, we got worm. I'm, I'm bookmarking, yeah, this musketeer in March. Those potatoes crawl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, they do a watermelon oh, crawl, crawl here in, uh, you know, Tim McGraw does the watermelon crawl. I think. Crawl. Step, maybe? I mean, is that, that's, that's a kind, I guess you kind of crawl step? Uh, uh, if there's smoke the in the house, you crawl yeah. under the smoke. I don't remember much about that night. <laughs> Hmm. I think we can both agree on worm. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. I'm going to let you click at that hand. There, there you, go. you go. That hasn't worked out well for me the last couple times. <laughs> Dude. Do we want to go ahead and do our march and musketeer and at least try to catch up to these other guys? Why not? Okay, I'm feeling okay. better. Okay, so we've got some other crawling and some hoisting that we need to figure out here. Do we do crane? Hoist. Crane to I think crane is a solid hoist choice. It's gonna be weird that we get it. We get everything from previous clues and nothing from crawl. Right. Yeah. Chris is one step ahead of us. Get that. Okay, solid round. Um, mm -hmm. I 
feel I feel like smoke might be a good call for crawl. I'm not I'm not I'm not seeing where the others dice crawl. Uh, I don't know, Ray. Should we try smoke? I'm not or, sure, or, or, but go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Here you go. I, I, I think I'm done. I, if you have a good sense, Ray, we can go, but I'm, I think I'm comfortable. I don't want to give them another one when they only need three. Yeah. So we'll just call it a day. Oh, two's good, two's good. Two's the danger zone for us. Well done, guys. Well done. Mm. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. yeah. None of those words you selected were anything that Chris was thinking. You, but you know, yeah. we got them. <laughs> comment, but they can't. <laughs> right. Three for the win. Three for the well, win. win. Oh, the pressure's on. No All right. Silence. Are we ready? Yep. Our clue is... Vegetation 2. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> and bonsai. Yeah. Yep. Nothing else that we're missing there, is there? I don't see I mean, anything else there. Have you guys been to Phoenix? <laughs> There's yes. no vegetation in Phoenix. <laughs> okay, let's go with Bonsai first. And then mm -hmm. we're going to go for the potato. Yeah, potato. Right, so what do we, we want to do here? Do we want to risk it for the win? We or... have to. You think? Yeah, you have you, to. You, you think they're going to get them... it? Go with the two. Because what? Well, the problem is, what? Are, what are we missing? Oh, yeah. I. There's a chance it's Russia, still. Because you think we still haven't got the Orient Express one? That's oh, the only one I'm is, thinking. This is one of those games where I am going to learn something that I'm never <laughs> going to forget. In fact, half of the things I know are from games of code names. I now know the name of the first dog in space. Every I know what I the Uncanny learned. Valley is. Yep. I've learned so much from playing these games. Um, that That's the only stretch that I think. It's either I say go for Russia or I'm guessing there. Let's have a think. Where does the Orient Express go from and to? Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm okay with Russia if you are. Okay, let's see what happens. Are you clicking it or am I? Button or am I? <laughs> I thought you were doing it. Okay, come on. Yeah! Yes! Oh. My God! Right. So, where does the Orient Express go from then? I, I believe it does go, go in Russia. Russia. Okay. Goes from Paris to Istanbul. Right. Although in the older days it actually started in London. Right. So nowhere near Russia. Oh, there right. May have been a Russian <laughs> character in the book. I don't recall. Oh so, yeah, it goes. To, it goes into Russia. It does. Yeah. And is is that yeah, what you it, meant? It says that it goes in Moscow. Okay. Right. So was that was that what you meant by all? That is Express? what. That is what we yeah, meant. Train there in Russia. Go. Yeah. Train okay. in Russia. I think, Chris, you're going to need to give us some explanations. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to look at the it. chat to see what. <laughs> So, so here, so here's kind of a, right a standard thing. You missed for three, three was three musketeers, march, and dice because there's number on dice. All right, so okay. you kind of had three clues hanging out there at the uh -huh. end of that one. So I gave you uh, what was it? It was the um, 
hoist one or well technically it was hoist five but right. really i was giving you hoist one with a lot of room to get those other ones in which is so technically not using, allowed he was so. using five instead of the infinity yeah so you're not allowed to do that technically okay. by the rules if, if you say hoist five you okay. have to be able to justify where those five you're not allowed to artificially okay. increase the number you could have just said hoist infinity and then that yeah. would have allowed your team to have as many uh, guesses uh, as they okay. want yeah yeah so that that's kind of like where i said like i think we're going to need to talk because again it's colloquial yeah. right like how you yeah. play it at home so and it was exactly crawl crawl was actually like two of them because it was uh smoke and worm right the two on that one. Well, yeah. I feel better about our uh, our reasoning capacity now. Then, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, you were like, and my again when I play with my groups, we we always tend to start with the ones that we know were right from last time and just didn't get. So yeah, yeah. I'm used to starting backwards, and you guys were going forwards, and then you you did that twice. Um, and again, bad clues because anchor is obviously hoist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get crane and not so not and dice for our other words. Um, yeah, and it was like, yeah, <laughs> I it's one of those. It was like Earth again, like very clever third rock. Like, I'm yeah, like, I didn't didn't even think of that one. Yeah, at all. Yeah, it's, I think I did have dice marked for three, but Earth yeah. was so obviously right. Right, it was. <laughs> no, it was it was it was so like. It was one of those that was so subtle, it was too good not to be true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Earth and cool. March, I thought, were definite. I mean, the fascinating thing with this game is Codenames has been out now for five years. Right. Mm -hmm. And I've played hundreds of games of Codenames. And yeah. obviously, I don't play it regularly now. Um, but every time we go back to it, the games are just great. They're just fun and enjoyable. And it, it just, yeah, it's it's so good to go back to it now and again and, and just play. And, and I tell you, it's so much fun to play with people you don't know because, yeah. like I was just explaining, you kind of have some rhythms. I mean, it's not Hanabi rhythms here, yeah. but it's there's mm -hmm. definitely some kind of rhythms that um, are different and it's fun to kind of play with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. So... Cool. And for those people watching, this is actually available right now for free. You can just go to codenames.game. That is the website address. You can set up a game. Uh, it will create a three word code for you and you can send that link to your friends and you can play. You can chat over Discord or Skype or Zoom or whatever and play along. And yeah, it is available now. Officially, it is still in beta. It's been in beta for a couple of months. It's working fine. OK, there's no problems with it, but it is there. Uh, CGE have basically made a web version available so that people can, people can play it. So yeah, play along with your friends and family or random people you happen to find on the internet, which is what's happened today. There you go. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, yeah, just, uh, just thank you to everybody for joining me today. We will wrap things up now and I will be back in about 20 minutes or so with another game of this. Um, but yeah, thank you to, to Melvin for joining us, the spy master. <laughs> well, Thank you for guessing things. Yes, you guys yeah. did a great job. Thanks for having yeah. us on. We did good. Thank you, Tony, for helping us out and keeping us uh, keeping us on the straight and narrow. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for having me. And uh, and yeah, the red team. Chris, with your crazy clues. <laughs> <laughs> crazy clues. Crazy Thanks clues. Thanks for being our most valuable player, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> if, you can't, if you can't beat him, join him, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and yeah, thank you very much to Jeremy and Ray for, for joining us for this game. Well, thanks, thanks, Paul, and I hope you guys have a good expo. Yes, will do. Right, I will say expo. goodbye to everybody on Discord, and then I will say goodbye to everybody for watching. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I will have a look through the chat messages now. Um, yeah, what a fascinating game. But yes, there you go. That's that. So I will be back, as I say, in about 20 minutes' time with uh, the second game of this. Different people. Um, different word grid, and yeah, play along at home with this one. But for now, take care, and I'll see you soon. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience.
Visit GameToppersLLC.com.